Hi, Clever Pickles. I've got another activity for you today using a die. I've got my 12 sided die for this activity, but you can do this with any die that you have. You can use your dot die that's a six sided one, your numeral die, or you can go all the way up to 20, or if you're one of the lucky ducks that has some of the tens die, some of them go up to 100, they're really cool. So today what we're going to do is an activity called number combinations. I'm gonna put a little title up here. Okay, so for number combinations, we've done this before when we've done friends of 10 and friends of 20. We know that nine and one are friends of 10, which means nine plus one is 10. We've also done eight and two are friends of 10, which means that eight plus two is 10. There are lots of different num number combinations to get to 10, and those have all been our friends of 10. We did the same for 20. So 19 and one are friends of 20. That means that 19 plus one is 20. We can do them with other ones. We can do 18 plus two is 20, 17 plus two is 20. And if you look at one of my other videos called, what is the question? We have one answer and lots of questions that equal the same answer. So we're going to do something similar today. We're going to look at number combinations, which are like friendly numbers but that aren't necessarily for 10 or 20. So what you do for this activity is you need a whiteboard. Sometimes we use our little one, but for today I'm going to use my big one. Whiteboard markers, I've got a couple of different colors today and the die that you're choosing to use. Remember, if you want to challenge yourself, you need to get a different die. So I'm going to roll and see what number I get. And I got nine. So I'm going to put nine, I'll use a different color at the top here. That's going to be mine. And I'm gonna think of all the different number combinations where nine is the answer. These are my friends of nine, my friendly numbers. So I know that nine plus zero equals nine. Nine and nothing is nine. Eight plus one. Seven plus two, this equals nine. Six plus three. Five plus four. I can keep going, four plus five, and this is where you start to see the pattern. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. As this goes down, this one goes up. Zero, one, two, three, four, five. If I kept going to the next one, what do you think this next one underneath here would be? If I'm going nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, it would be three plus, one, two, three, four, five, six. This is why maths is awesome. There's patterns everywhere. Let's see if we can do it with a different number. I'm gonna try rolling again. I rolled nine again. I'm not gonna do the same one again for you guys. Seven. Now this time, I'm going to go the other way. Zero plus seven equals seven. One plus six equals seven. What do you think is going to come next? Two plus five. Three plus four equals seven. Four plus three. And look at that, now I've found the point where it's gonna become a mirror in my pattern. One, two, three, four. Seven, six, five, four, three. That means that my next one is going to be three. Whoops, ha <laughs> ha, no it's not. Make a mistake. Mistakes are proof that you're trying, remember? I should have done five. Oh, that's a dodgy five. Try that again. Five plus, oh my gosh, I can't write today. Two, because it's right down in the corner there. Hopefully yours is neater than mine. I'm gonna roll one more and see if you can keep up with me. One, I rolled a one. That's, yeah, dodge. Okay. We'll do it though. I rolled a one. We will do it. How many number combinations do you think we can have where one is the answer? 
1 plus 0, 0 plus 1. Any others? Not for addition anyway. You know, just because I rolled a really low number. Let's do one more. Last one. Oh, 11. That's a good one. 11. I like that because there's heaps. The bigger the number, the more combinations you'll get. So, easy one. 11 plus 0. 10 plus 1. 9 plus how many? 2. 8 plus 3, which means it's 7 plus 4. And then 6 plus oh, 5. That 5 was much better. And if you keep going, you'll see the pattern. And you can do these with any number, any number, even if you don't want to use the die to give you an answer. I just like doing this because it's fun. And then you get to see how many you can get. If you find this is really easy and you know all the answers super, answers super fast as you're going through it, get a partner and see who can get the most if you challenge each other. So maybe roll one die and then as soon as you roll that, you and your partner can challenge each other to see who can get all the answers done first. Or you might do like our other fidget spinner activity where you could spin the fidget spinner and then keep rolling this and seeing how many you can get before the fidget spinner stops. There's always a way to challenge yourself and make it a bit trickier so that you can get faster and faster and faster and remember these number facts. You might not like doing them in order the way that I've done them. You might do the ones that come to your mind first. You might remember seven plus two, five plus four, eight plus one. You can write them in any order that you want to. That's the way your brain works, then that's fine. So I want you guys to have a, a try of playing this one. Roll your die or think of a number and see which number combinations you can come up with onto the board. And if you can challenge yourself, try and do it the other way as well. Okay, thanks guys. Thank you to all the wonderful subscribers. I've received lots of messages from different schools that have been using Clever Pickles too, which is exciting. That's why I'm in my classroom doing this and having a lovely time sharing my videos with you. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, you can click on the button at the bottom. If you wanna check out one of my other videos, I'll put one up the top here for you to look at as well. And I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Thanks guys, bye.